The future will be bright. But is it going to be the blinding brightness of a bomb just before the permanent darkness? Or a new lamp in a home? Uranium, a metal forged in the final breath of a dying star. Born in the chaos of supernovas, uranium is both feared and revered. It's easy to associate it with destruction, atomic bombs, nuclear disasters, and war. But there's another side to this powerful element. Nuclear energy, when harnessed responsibly, has the lowest carbon footprint of any major energy source. It offers a path forward as we confront climate change, dwindling fossil fuels, and the urgent need for cleaner and more sustainable energy. As global demand for electricity rises, uranium becomes more valuable to us. This critical resource powers nuclear reactors that produce high amounts of energy, efficiently and with minimal environmental impact. But before uranium fuels a reactor, it begins its journey deep underground. After mining, the ore is processed into what's known as yellow cake, a concentrated form of uranium that's not highly radioactive. In fact, over 99% of it is made up of uranium-238, which is stable and not suitable for energy production. Only a small fraction, about 0.7%, is uranium-235, the isotope capable of sustaining nuclear fission. To be useful as fuel, this uranium must be enriched to increase its uranium-235 content. Even a modest enrichment of 3 to 5% is enough to create long-lasting, efficient fuel for power plants. Higher enrichments can improve performance and reactor design, but the process is complex and requires significant technological investment. Creating nuclear weapons requires very high percentage of enrichments to create a scary, unforgivable and impossible to forget face for this precious metal. CVMR has secured three major uranium mines and it is preparing to export yellow cake to North America and Europe for further processing and enrichment. As we stand at the challenging crossroads, the question remains. Will we use uranium to light up the world, or leave it in the shadows of fear? The answer is up to us.